If someone was on the fence about coming to Three Rivers, um, I would tell them to do it. It was a lot easier here at Three Rivers to do everything like it wasn't complex or complicated. When I made my decision to come to Three Rivers for EMT school, I can say that's one of the best decisions I've made in my adult life. I feel like I do have the tools and of course the education to keep pushing me. I mean, I was completely blown away when it came to the level of expertise from the instructors. I got all my knowledge and everything out here at Three Rivers and that's really what kind of started it. I would say come here. Everybody's so supportive and you're gonna get the help that you need. more clear to me as well. That's crazy that uh, maybe Channel 1 has gone out. So whatever it is, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And you are listening live from the Women's Basketball Championship Division One NJCAA from the Ford Wyoming Center, it is the Three Rivers Raiders tonight taking on the defending champs, the Raiders of Northwest Florida State. Hi, everybody. It's the Lady Raiders, Tim Hager, and you. Two sets of Lady Raiders tonight. How about that? So we're going to have to uh, make a little adjustment on the fly. We'll call one team Three Rivers. We'll call one team Northwest Florida. Regardless of who's on the floor right now, this is the Elite Eight, and we're glad to have you along for the ride tonight. We come on a few minutes late. The game before this one uh, went a little bit long. And in that contest, it was the upset. The number 20 Eastern Arizona Gila Monsters pulled the upset, beating number five Gulf Coast State 67 to 53. So the final four is starting to take shape, and the winner of this ball game will make it there. We're in Elite Eight action right now. Earlier in the day, the number one seed, Hutchison, uh, won big over New Mexico, 76-45. And then Wabash Valley, in a close one, defeated the number seven Odessa team, 83-81. to So it's been a fun day of basketball. Once again, we're the late night game, game number four. Starting lineups tonight, first four, uh, Northwest Florida. Number two, Destiny McFall. Number four, Nevaeh Scott. Number 12, Maya Pierfax. Number 24, Deborah Davenport, and number 32, Celia Rivera. For the Three Rivers Lady Raiders, similar starting lineup we've had for several games, starting with number five, Amaya Johnson, number 11, Lexi Weaver, number 12, Dakaria Leah Jackson, number 13, Samari Taylor, number 33, Kaylee Thompson. They're introducing the starting lineups right now for. The Florida squad, Raiders dressed in visiting black uniforms tonight, trimmed in yellow. The Raiders from Niceville, Florida, they're wearing white uniforms, trimmed in red. They have a record of 28 on the uh, 28 and three on the season. They were 10 and two at home, nine and one on the road, and nine and zero oh in uh, neutral sites. Three Rivers and 29 and four on the season at this point, 17 and one at home. Nine and three on the road, three and zero oh in neutral sites, and they have won a couple of games down here. Wednesday night defeated Mississippi Gulf Coast. Thursday night defeated Shelton State, and let's see if we can knock off the defending champs. The ball is in the air. Let the games begin. Florida with the basketball. Number four, Nevaeh Scott. Now to McFall. You're going to hear McFall's name mentioned a lot tonight. She drives the baseline and hits the runner. Two zips, the early score. McFall averaging 13.3 a game, and Cecilia Riviere, 12.7. They're the two leading scorers for Northwest Florida State. Lady Raiders, three rivers with the basketball. Leah Jackson on the wing over to Kaylee Thompson. Takes it, kicks it back out to Lexi Weaver, number 11. Out to Leah for John Jackson for three, misses. Ball rattles around. Amaya Johnson goes in, shoots the ball. Looks like it could have been a foul. No call. We'll keep playing. Florida with it. 
There's the shot, and it's up, and it's good by the aforementioned Celia Riviera. McFall and Riviera scored the first two buckets. We had a chance to watch this team play last night, and they were definitely the two go-to people offensively for Northwest Florida. Raiders down four zip here in the early going. They have the ball now. It's Lexi Weaver. Dribbles in. Kicks it back out to Leah Jackson. Seven on the shot clock. Going to have to hurry. Give and go to Samari Taylor. Lays it up. Misses. Gets the rebound. Goes up. Did not have it go down. Again, some contact. No foul called. Coach Alex Wicks calls the quick timeout, 6-0, as DePaul runs it in and scores on both ends of the floor that time. A little bit of contact on the Three Rivers side. No call yet. Could have been a foul on the microwave. Could have been a foul. Uh, Taylor might also drew the foul. Colters, we know what's at stake. We put fun in everything we make at Colters. You love everything we make at Colton Steakhouse and Grill. No one's a stick. Everyone has a smile, and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. If this close, you get pulled into the matrix of it. So they're playing Randy Orton's theme music right now on the background. <laughs> okay. Coming to you live from the Ford Wyoming Center in uh, Casper, Wyoming. We're in a timeout right now. The uh, Lady Raiders of Northwest Florida. My gosh, this is going to be confusing. Lady Raiders versus Lady Raiders tonight. The Florida team is up 6-0 as they play the Randy Orton theme song in the background for you uh, fans who watch Monday Night Raw, but you don't admit it to your friends. You know the song. We got the ESPN Plus crew with us tonight, so the timeouts are going to be a little bit on the longer side. The TV folk take an extended timeout so they can gouge the consumers. Maya Davidson, number 20, is going to check in for the uh, Lady Raiders of Three Rivers, along with Camille Brown. Alexi Weaver will stay in. KT, Kayla Thompson, stay in, number 33, and Leah Jackson. 8.22 left here in the first quarter. Coach Wiggs called a quick timeout. Uh, the Florida squad... 74.6 74.6 a game. They only give up 48 and a half a game. That is third in the nation defensively. And they've won seven games in a row. Statistically, these two teams match up really, really well. Northwest Florida State, the number three seed in this tournament. Let's get the ball rolling. Here we go. Lexi Weaver with the basketball. Crosses the timeline with it. Bounce pass to Kaylee Thompson. Goes to the left hand. Gets the screen. Takes it strong to the basket. Misses a shot. What's it going to take to call a foul on that end of the floor? Northwest Florida with it. The ball scooped up by Camille Brown with the steal. She has a one-on-two fast break. Takes it strong to the basket and scores. Number 21, Camille Brown gets the Lady Raiders a popular block on the scoreboard. 6-2. Needed that one. She got it, went uh, coast-to-coast with it for the layup. Here's the give and go now to Riviera. Guarded by Davidson. Turns, she missed the shot. KT, Kaylee Thompson scoops in for the rebound. Leah Jackson dribbles. 
Pass intended for Maya Davidson goes over her head out of bounds. Number 23, Layla Reese will check into the ball game. Kaylee Thompson, number 33, will take a seat. Northwest Florida State's out of Region 8. They defeated Casper last night, 76-69. They were down 47-38 at halftime. Half the town of Casper, Wyoming, was in this facility last night. Rockets crowd. They came out of the locker room and flipped it up a switch and defeated the hometown Casper Thunderbirds. McFaul with 25. Deborah Davenport had 23 last night for Northwest Florida. They have the basketball now. Six on the shot clock. McFall will let it go from the Mech baseline. She misses. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Northwest Florida. This team won the national championship last year. They won it in 2021 as well. Been a 29-4 and four season last year. Now, this college was formerly known as Oskaloosa Walton Junior College way back in the day. And there's going to be a foul away from basketball. Reese called for the foul, setting the screen. She will come back out for pitch by number 33, Kaylee Thompson. First foul of the ballgame. They let them beat and bang, and then they call a moving screen foul. Head scratcher. Northwest Florida with the basketball. I'll try to stick with that name tonight instead of calling them the Raiders. They swing it around two. McFall dumped into Riviera. A little backdoor cut by number 12, and it is good. Maya Pierfax, a little baseline backdoor cut, got it in a good spot and laid it in. We have an 8-2 score right now. Jasmine Davis, number three in the ballgame now, for three rivers. Hands it off to Leah Jackson. Jackson dribbles in, picks up the dribble, shoots. Off-balance shot is no good. Rebound there by Riviera. Six minutes left here in the first quarter, 8-2. Northwest Florida leads it. They roll baseline, dish it off to number 24, Deborah Davenport, who lays it up and lays it in. Davenport, power forward, six foot two out of Cincinnati, Ohio. She makes the score 10 2. Here's Leah Jackson, dribbles off the defender. Ball went up, no good. Again, beating and banging there. She got a little contact, no score. Foul. Davenport scores quickly again. We've got a 12 2 ball game right now. Lady Raiders down by 10 here in the early going. 5.22 left in the first quarter. They need a bucket on this one. Camille Brown drives the basket, gets tripped, misses the shot. Coach Bart Walker pleading the official give me strength. He's gotten every call tonight that's going to put Camille Brown at the line. Brymaya Johnson, number 22 now in the ballgame for Three Rivers, as is number 15, Kiara Neal. But for now, Camille Brown at the line. On the season, number 21, Camille Brown averaging 5.4 a game. She misses the first free throw. She'll shoot one more. Makes the second one. 12-3 is the score. More substitutions for Northwest Florida. Thompson, Davis, Johnson, Neal, and Bramiah Johnson in the game. Ball's knocked loose, scooped up by... Jasmine Davis for the Lady Raiders. Cross the timeline with it. There's a long three-pointer. Way off the mark there by number 22. Bermaya Johnson. Give it back to Northwest Florida. Quick shot that time by Bermaya Johnson. She was open, but she missed the mark out of bounds. 12-3, 4.50 to go here. Just getting it started from the Ford Wyoming Center in Casper, Wyoming. Elite 8 basketball action. There's the shot. It's up and it's good, and they're going to call the block.
Kaylee Thompson went to draw the charge. They called the block instead. So we have the opportunity to shoot the and one with number two, Destiny McFall. McFall out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, makes the three or makes the free throw for the old fashioned three. She makes the and one. It's a 15-3 ball game right now. Lady Raiders digging a hole. They're going to have to climb out of this one. Got a whole lot of basketball left. There's Camille Brown dribbling in. Picks up the dribble. Bounces it out to Bramiah Johnson. Now to Jasmine Davis. Davis crossover dribble. Shoots about the free throw line. It's up and it's good. Little teardrop jump shot by Davis. Hits the mark. 15-5. Northwest Florida with the lead. They dump it in. They're going to go that back door cut again. Whoa, whoa. Ball goes out of bounds. Number 12, Pierfax, got it, spun, didn't have the shot, and hit the uh, scorer's table with the basketball. So the Raiders will get it back as Layla Reese, number 23, checks back in for three rivers. Reese Davis, Neal Johnson on the court with Camille Brown. Is where Mike Johnson takes it up off the glass for two. Saw steam in the defense, slid it, took it strong to the basket there. Nice play. Her first points of the ball game for number 22 by Mike Johnson. 15-7 score, 3:44 left in the first quarter. Northwest Florida with it. There's the runner by number 24, Deborah Davenport, and it is good. She had a great game last time with 24 points. Long and lean, playing the power forward position. And she got that bucket. Six points for her here in the ballgame. Lady Raiders with it. Johnson, once again, she'll do it again. Slides in. Ball is knocked away from her that time. They ran the same play. She had the same opportunity. Ball got away with her. Got away from her, rather. Northwest Florida gets it back. They dump it into number 22. Out to number zero, Jayla Davis. Her shot's off the mark. Goes out of bounds, last touch by Northwest Florida. Leah Jackson back in, Samari Taylor back in, the microwave number five, Amaya Johnson all back in for the Lady Raiders. 17 sevens to score. Just under three minutes left here in the first quarter of basketball action. Here's Layla Reese with the shot, misses, and the ball goes out of bounds. Give the ball back to Northwest Florida. They're coached by Bart Walker, his career record, 402 wins, 102 losses coming into this season. His ninth season, Northwest Florida, formerly the head coach of Chattanooga State and Motlow State, before coming to Knightsville, Florida. His team has the miss. Microwave rebounds. Give it off to Layla Reese. She'll shoot the three. That one's off the mark. A rebound by Northwest Florida. They fast break bucket. Davenport lays it in. They got it down the court in a hurry, and that's what we saw last night playing Casper. If they have the fast break opportunities, they take it. They got the easy bucket there. They lead it 19-7. Three-point attempt by Leah Jackson. They call the foul. They're waving off the three-pointer. Samari Taylor called for the foul away from the ball there. Wave off the three. Tough break for three rivers. Three fouls for three rivers, one for Northwest Florida. Northwest Florida has the basketball. Coach Wiggs talking to the other official. Again, I did not see if the foul would have been away away from the ball. As a lead, lead Jackson hits the three, they have to wave that off. That hurts to wave off a three-pointer like that. That hurts. 19-7. KT knocks it out of bounds. Last off the fingertips, number 24, Deborah Davenport. We'll give it back to Three Rivers. 137 left here in the first quarter. 19-7, Northwest Florida with the lead. Taylor with the basketball, top of the key. Now to the microwave. She picks up the dribble. 
to Jasmine Davis, now to Leah Jackson. Dribbles in, draws the double team. KT's open, goes baseline, kicks it back out to the microwave. She shoots a three. It's a little bit short. Go for the rebound. Foul called on number five, Amaya Johnson. Northwest Florida will dribble it down. They're up 19-7. They have the basketball. They're looking to dump it into number 24, Davenport. Goes off their fingertips out of bounds. So they're trying to post up Davenport down low. Again, she's long and lengthy. Get her that ball. That Both times they've tried that recently. It's been off the fingertips out of bounds. Not her. It's been the pass a little bit too high. Raiders have it under a minute. They need a bucket right here. Leah Jackson hands it off to the microwave. Amaya Johnson. Now to KT. Jasmine Davis with it. Running a little motion offense. They're going to say that number five Johnson stepped out of bounds. Lexi Weaver back in. Amaya Johnson will come out. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. 30 on the shot clock. Number four, Nevaeh Scott with a basketball for Northwest Florida. Now to Davenport. Again, they're going to try to get it in the paint, and they do. There's the miss by number 22, Jade Odami. Jesus. Out of France. There's a shot off the glass by Jasmine Davis. Sure, it was needed that one. 19 9. Davis dribbled in. Shot a high arcing shot off the glass for two. We can turn off the shot clock. Eight seconds left. Northwest Florida at six. They've got it at five. They're going to back it down two to three at two. It rattles around. No good. And there's the buzzer. Northwest Florida comes out and takes a 19 9 lead after one quarter of play. We're going to throw it back to the studio. The second quarter is coming up next, folks. Got a lot of Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. What's wrong, honey? Just found out my heart age is 62. (laughs) But you're only 55. I know. I took this test online, and it says my heart is 62. Is your heart older than you are? If so, you could be at risk for heart disease. Find out by taking Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center's Heart Risk Assessment. It's fast, free, and online. Visit poplarbluffheart.com today. I'm calling the doctor right now, and you should take that test too. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com or come see us at Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call 573-785-0893. Subway refreshed their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu, Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway location. Locations in Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today.
We're at the Ford Wyoming Center in Casper, Wyoming. Right now, the uh, score is 19-9, Northwest Florida over the Three Rivers Lady Raiders. Just received a notification. The number 11 North Carolina State team has defeated the number two seed Marquette, 67-58. Brackets exploding all over the place. North uh, North Carolina got beat last night. Uh, Alabama beat North Carolina. Alabama is from Tuscaloosa. Last night, the uh, Lady Raiders defeated Shelton College out of Tuscaloosa, 68-50. In last night's ball game, Kaylee Thompson, 18 points, Leah Jackson, 16, and Layla Reese off the bench with 10 points. Right now, we're in the Elite Eight, and the winner of this game goes to the Final Four, and we'll play tomorrow night at 7:15. Lady Raiders will get the basketball once the ESPN guys are ready. I think they're ready. I'm ready. And let's roll. It's the race that first quarter. Jasmine Davis with the basketball, picks it up, gives it to Lexi Weaver. Here's an NBA three by Leah Jackson. It's off the mark. The rebound quickly ahead to number four. Now it's an out to number 12, Maya Pierfax. She has it right here in front of us at the sports table. Swinging around to Riviera. And to Scott. There's the interception by Jasmine Davis. Pass intended for Riviera. Davis steps in front of it, gets it back for the Lady Raiders. To Maya Davidson. Now to Jasmine Davis. Give and go to Maya Davidson. Kicks it out to KT. She'll stop and shoot the jump shot. Misses. Rebound Northwest Florida. They're owning the boards right now. Lady Raiders getting one shot at it on offense. Going to have to hit those boards. Weak side rebound on the offensive side. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Northwest Florida. 8.44 left here before halftime. Number zero, Jayla Davis checks in for Northwest Florida. Lady Raiders top ten in uh, different, four different categories defensively this year. That's been their uh, strong mark. On the defensive side of the floor. Going to have to turn up the defense tonight to get back in this one. Offensively, KT has the ball slapped away from her. Here comes Northwest Florida. There's a charging foul. Lady Raiders finally catch a break. Finally. Referee made the correct call there. Alexa Weaver got back on defense. The Northwest player plowed into her. Defensively, the Raiders lead the nation in blocks, averaging 5.6 a game. Three Rivers also number three in opponent's field goal percentage, number seven in steals, and number 10 in points per game allowed. Layla Reese went in for the reverse layup. It has it blocked. Both these teams play a rugged style of defense. Pardon the grammar. Ain't nothing coming easy tonight. Here is a long distance shot from the baseline off the mark. Leah Jackson gets the rebound, hands off to Jasmine Davis. 19 nines our score. Here's Jasmine. Takes it strong to the basket off the glass for two. Jasmine Davis never stopped moving forward. Took it strong to the basket. Ball is on the floor. Riviere and Davidson go for it. They're going to call the jump ball right there. Possession arrow points two, three rivers. 19-11 to score. Are they going to say on that not a jump ball? Foul called on Northwest Florida. That would have been on Riviera if she went for that loose ball, landed on Davidson. So they make the correction. There's a three-point attempt by Leah Jackson. In and out, no good. Here comes Northwest Florida with a basketball. But they don't slow down. They don't take their time. They get it down the floor in a hurry, try to set it up. Now they slow it down a little bit. It's McFall. To number 12, Pierfax. She misses. The long rebound goes to Lexi. Weaver. 
gives it back to Jasmine Davis. Coach Wicks calls the play. Davis hands off to Jackson. Jackson turns the corner, goes downhill, shoots high off the glass. No good. Davison rebounds, takes it strong to the basket, and she draws the foul. Look like now Davison has her hand wrapped up. Looks like she's in a little bit of pain. She's getting it out right now. That block attempt looked like it uh, might have got around a jam thumb or something like that. Davidson, number 20, tougher than a $3 stake. Hanging in there for the Lady Raiders. She'll be at the free throw line. Maya Davidson with the first free throw. It's up, and it's good. On the season, Maya averaging 6.7 points a game for three rivers. She'll shoot the second free throw. It's good. 19-13 is the score. Davidson will check out Samari Taylor back in for the Three Rivers Lady Raiders. Northwest Florida with the basketball. It's number four, Scott, bringing it down. Hands off to number two, McFall, guarded by Lexi Weaver. It's a good matchup. Davenport hands it off to Nevaeh Scott, top of the key. Scott gives directions. They kick it back out to her. She dribbles along the baseline. Nice pass to Mosley, who shoots. Stephanie Mosley with a bucket, makes it 21-13. The play was set up on a nice pass. Got his ball to her in a good spot. See if the Raiders can answer. and They're going to get called for the foul. Away from the ball. Leah Jackson. She was setting a screen. She's talking with the ref, explaining... What was going on? Northwest Florida will get it back. They lead it by eight. They dump it in the paint right there. Number 22 shoots and scores. Jade Undimey with the bucket. First bucket in the game for number 22. 23-13 is our score. Here's Camille Brown with it. Top of the key. Dribbles in. Shoots the runner. It's off the mark. Northwest Florida gets yet another rebound. They'll move it ahead quickly. And number 21, Camille Brown, kicked the ball there defensively. So Northwest Florida will take it out right here in front of us at the scorer's table here at the uh, Wyoming Center. There's a nice block from behind by Leah Jackson. As number two, McFall took a strong win. Block shot. Raiders get it back. Here's Lexi Weaver. Runner off the glass. Doesn't go down for her. They give and go to number 22. Her shot is up and in. 25-14. Give those points to Deborah Davenport. Five minutes to go here in the second quarter. 25-13. Northwest Florida has the lead. They turn it over. There's going to be a quick fast break. There's the missed layup. And the follow-up is good. Camille Brown went down, had the ball taken away from her. Quick, fast break coming the other way. They miss the layup, but on the follow-up, they get the bucket and draw the foul. You know, with inflation, I should say tougher than a $4 stake. Anyway, you You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and, of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. Colters, we know what's at stake. We put fun in everything we make at Colters. We know what's at stake. Colters, we know what's at stake. You love everything we make at Colters. Stay cast and grill. See Placid Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. 
Placid Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Placid Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Placid Tire Service. They're playing Triple H's theme song now. <laughs> they must, must have a WWE stuff on the... I can see the dude on the computer playing the music. We're back at the Ford Wyoming Center. During the timeout, the uh, gentleman playing the tunes must have his WWE 8-track playing there in the old 8-track player. Uh, he's been... a uh, Cranking them out. We're listening to some Triple H music right now, playing the game. 27-13 is the score of this game. Lady Raiders called the quick timeout, down by 14 points. We're talking here at the media table during the timeout that offensively the Lady Raiders, a little quick on the shots tonight, really haven't used a lot of the shot clock, really haven't made the uh, Northwest Florida State group work real hard on the defensive end. We'll see if we can slow things down a little bit, maybe get a little better shot selection here in the Elite Eight action. Of course, the Lady Raiders are coached by Alex Wiggs in his fourth season as coach. His record's 103-12 and 12 overall. Assistant coach Caleb Livingston in his second year with us at Three Rivers College. This team won on March 15th, defeating State Fair 79-66 to win the Region 16 tournament in that ball game number 12. Leah Jackson had 34 points. That got them to the national tournament where they drew an 11 seed. First night, they defeated Mississippi Gulf Coast they're the 22 seed, 73-64. And then last night, they pulled the upset, beating the number six team in the nation, Shelton State Buccaneers out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And they won that game 68-50. to That was a four-point game at halftime. They come out of the locker room, punched the accelerator, and uh, got off to a uh, fast start there in the second half. We're at the free throw line right now to shoot the and one. It's Michaela Chase. Her shot's up, and it's good. Lady Raiders down 27-13. Let's see if we can do any damage on the offensive side of things in the final 444 left here in the first quarter. Jasmine Davis has it. Step back, picks up the dribble, trying to get it into Davidson, who's posting up. They go baseline. There's the shot. It's short by number 22 by Maya Johnson. Fast break once again by Northwest Florida. They missed the layup. Leah Jackson tracks it down for three rivers. They got back on defense that time. Give Maya Davidson some credit to get back there and alter that shot. Raiders catch a break defensively. See if they can convert it now on the offensive side. Here's the shot by Barmaya Johnson. It's an air ball picked up by Northwest Florida. They waste no time. Take it right back down. Lady Raiders step in there. Davidson picks up the loose ball, hands off to Jackson. Two on three fast break, so slow it down. Jasmine Davis will shoot the three. It rattles around no good. Three-point ball isn't falling so far for three rivers. Down by 15 points. Rushing things on offense right now. Both these teams... One at 29 and four, the other at 28 and three. Not really used to playing from behind either team. Right now, Lady Raiders down by 15. Here's the jumper, and it is good by number two, Destiny McFall. She shot it right in front of us. I'm sorry to say, when it left her fingertips, I knew it was money. That was an NBA three right there. 31 13. Here's Davidson. She's knocked to the floor, and she'll draw the foul. Maya Davidson posted up, got it in a good spot. She pump faked, got the defender in the air, and was able to draw the foul, and she'll go to the line. Smart play offensively right there by Maya Davidson. Davidson, number 20, out of Rockford, Illinois, makes the first one. She and I had a conversation at lunch yesterday. Opening day of baseball season, she admitted to the group. (laughs) 
She's a Chicago Cubs fan. We still like her, though. We had a little Cubs-Cardinals uh, discussion. She's a Cubs fan. Justin Steele, their pitcher, got hurt yesterday. For you fantasy baseball fans, three minutes left here in the first quarter. 31-15 is our score. Northwest Florida has the basketball. Going to operate that offense, moving around. 15 on the shot clock. They roll baseline with it, pick up the dribble, kick it out to Davenport. Now to make fall at the top of the key. She'll dribble it in. Shot was altered by Neal. Kier gets the rebound, and she will draw the foul. Nice play there by Kier. Neal just off the bench. One up. Might have got a fingertip on that ball. Came down with it. McFall went to get it and committed her second foul. That will put Kier and Neal at the line to shoot for three rivers. Neal on the season averaging 3.9 points per contest. She is set. Makes the first free throw. 31-16 is the score. She'll get one more. Second one's up, and it is good. 31-17, both free throws by Kara Neal. Cut it to a 14-point Northwest Florida lead. They have the basketball right now. It's number 12, Purefax, dribbling in. And she will draw the foul. I believe that foul is going to be called on Leah Jackson. Her second foul here in the ball game. Number 12, fouling number 12. That will probably lead to Leah Jackson taking a seat, being replaced by number two. Got a substitute coming in. They will not let her, haven't blown the whistle to let her in. There's the buzzer. Sydney Marshall, number two, checks in the ball game. 5'8 freshman out of Rossville, Tennessee, replacing Leah Jackson. With KT on the floor right now, Jasmine Davis. And number 22, Bermia Johnson, Sydney Marshall, Kiara Neal. Foul called there on the trip. Jasmine Davis got tripped up. That foul was called on number four, Nevaeh Scott. That'll put Jasmine Davis at the line. So far in the ballgame, she has six points. Make it seven. 33-18 is the score. Davis will get one more free toss at it. One of my good friends from Elsinore, Missouri, calls them free pitches. Hey, she gets two free pitches. She makes them both. Eight points in the ballgame for Jasmine. 33-19 is our score. Northwest Florida with a basketball. As we near the two-minute mark left here before halftime, Coach Wiggs working on one of the officials over there. Bounce pass there to number five, Chase, out to number 22. She misses Jade Odmin. The ball goes out of bounds, last touch by Northwest Florida. They're going to come back and say that was a foul. 24, the officials talked it over for just a second. A little push there by Davenport as the ball was going out of bounds on KT. So Kaylee Thompson, number 33 at the line, will shoot for three rivers. Thompson and Leah Jackson both held scoreless thus far in the ball game. KT is now on the scoreboard. She makes the first free throw on the season. She averages 9.3 a game. Leah Jackson averages 12.7 a game. You can tell the Northwest Florida game plan was to uh, guard them, take them out of the flow offensively. KT makes both those free throws. She'll be replaced by Layla Reese, number 23, who's just checked in the ballgame. Davis, Reese, Neal, Johnson, and Marshall on the floor for three rivers right now. 33-21 ballgame. Northwest Florida has it. They're looking, trying to get again to number 22, who's posting up. Can't get it to her, so they'll kick it back out to 12. Pierfax. Now Scott rolls baseline, and the ball stolen by Layla Reese. Raiders get it on the turnover. Could use a bucket here, cut into this lead a little bit. 
They go baseline to Sydney Marshall. Now to Davis. Here's Layla Reese. Baseline jumper. In and out. No good. Rebound by Neal. She went up with it. The ball was blocked out of bounds by Northwest Florida. With 113 left, if the Raiders can get this back to single digits going into the locker room at this point, you would be pretty happy with that. There's the lob pass intended for Neal. Nobody there. Northwest Florida picks it up and makes the layup. Ouch. Just had a little momentum going. That time the inbounds pass, nobody there. Northwest Florida scooped it up for the easy two. They're going to call the double dribble right there on Sydney Marshall. She'll step out of the ball game, replaced by number 21, Camille Brown. Last two possessions, disasters for three rivers. Too many unforced turnovers. Inbounds pass, nobody there. Going to have to tighten it up just a little bit here in the second half. Under a minute to go in this first half. They're down by 14. There's the alley alley oop lob intended for Davenport, stolen by Johnson. Quickly ahead to Neal. Reverse layup is good. Nifty play right there by Kiera Neal. Crossover dribble, flipped it back up over her right shoulder with the left hand. Got it to go. Draws the foul. She'll shoot the and one. Nifty play there by number 15, Kiera Neal. Not to hit a cliche in the face, but we needed that. Bad. She'll shoot the and one with 38.3 seconds left here in the first half. Neal is set. Makes the free throw. Thank you, Kier Neal. 35-24, Northwest Florida with a basketball. About a seven-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. 20 on the shot clock, 28 on the game clock. There's going to be a foul called right there. Number five, cut to the basket. She got in a good spot. Michaela Chase went up with it and drew the foul. So 23 and a half seconds left, and Chase will go to the free throw line. She has five points in the ball game for Northwest Florida. Destiny Smith, number 23, checks in for Northwest Florida, but now we'll shoot a couple of free throws. First one's up, and it's good. 36 24. She'll get one more. Misses that one. Reese gets the rebound. Final possession of the first half. 36-24. 18 seconds left. Lexi Weaver with the basketball. Crosses the timeline. Lexi at 13. Backs it out of there. Lexi dribbles the left hand at 10. Goes baseline. Kicks it out too. For Maya Johnson. Now to Layla Reese. The three-point attempt is good at the three-second mark. 2-1. And that's going to finish the first half. Understatement of the century, Lady Raiders needed that, and they needed it bad. Layla Reese hits the three-pointer, three seconds left. We have a nine-point ball game, and that's what we were looking for. If they could just get back to single digits going into the locker room, it had to be a little bit of a momentum push back their direction. Least, uh, Layla Reese hits the big bucket, 36-27 is our halftime score. Before we throw it back to the Three Rivers Broadcasting Center, We'd like to thank our broadcast sponsors for bringing you the Lady Raiders and Raiders all season long. A big shout out to Home Service Oil, Subway, the Dental Arts Group, Alduin Auto, Popper Bluff Regional Medical Center, Colton's, and Plaza Tire. These folks have been with us all season for both the Raiders and Lady Raiders, and we do appreciate them. Uh, Streaming home games and being here on the road, we've probably done about 33, 34 games this year. We do appreciate their sponsorship this season. And we hope to play tomorrow night. We hope they sponsor at least one more. Winner of this game goes to the final four. Right now, the final four will be number one, Hutchison, number two, Wabash Valley, and number 20, Eastern Arizona. The winner of this game will join them in the we final four. So we have Stone Cold Steve we put Austin, fun in everything we we'll make it cold. Break. When we come back, we'll break we down the uh, first half for you. Once again, 36 27 is our score. Back in a couple of minutes. The we know what's at stake. You love everything we make at Colton's yes. Steakhouse and Grill.
Yeah, no doubt. Uh, everyone has a smile, and everyone hey, has a story. Night, the Bly family story the is all Florida, about helping the community a have a good, half, healthy so. smile. For three Hopefully generations, the twice. Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. Okay. Right. When good. you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. What's wrong, honey? Just found out my heart age is 62. (laughs) But you're only 55. I know. I took this test online, and it says my heart is 62. Is your heart older than you are? If so, you could be at risk for heart disease. Find out by taking Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center's Heart Risk Assessment. It's fast, free, and online. Visit poplarbluffheart.com today. I'm calling the doctor right now, and you should take that test too. Okay, yeah. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. We won't be beat. Plaza Tire Service is the low price leader on tires. And if you do manage to find a lower price on a comparable tire, we'll match it with our low price pledge. Stretch your dollars with outstanding deals from Plaza Tire Service on tires for your car, van, truck, crossover, SUV, and more. Plaza Tire Service has a huge selection of tires in stock and ready to install today. Plus, get six months deferred interest on purchases of $149 or more with your Plaza Tire Service card. For the best deal on tires, see Plaza Tire Service. See Plaza Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Plaza Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Plaza Tire Service. Subway refreshed their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu. Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway Local. Locations in Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com, or come see us at Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call, 573-785-0893. It is halftime in Casper, Wyoming. You're at the National Tournament Elite Eight action 
Three Rivers down 36-27 to the Northwest Florida State Raiders. Let's run down some stats for you for the Northwest Florida group. Jesse McFaul, eight points, and uh, Deborah Davenport, eight points. We talked about them. That's a really quick guard and a really good post player, and that's kind of their M.O. throughout the season. They score a lot of fast-break baskets. They get the rebound. They get it down the court in a hurry. Uh, for Northwest Florida State, 15 for 28 from the floor, one for six from the three-point arc, five for six from the free-throw line. Four three rivers in scoring. KT Kaylee Thompson, two points. Jasmine Davis leads the Lady Raiders with eight points. Kara Neal with five points. Maya Davidson with four points. Camille Brown with three. Ramaya Johnson with two. And Layla Reese with three. Three rivers, seven for 30 from the floor. A lot of quick shots tonight. And uh, seven for 30 for 23% from the floor. One for seven from the three-point arc. The three-pointer by Layla Reese with about two seconds left. Looms big right now for three rivers. They needed that, and they needed it bad going into the locker room. They cut that lead from a 18-point lead at one time down to nine, 36 to 27. Lady Raiders 12 for 13 from the free throw line, and that's also what kind of kept them in the ball game. Um, points in the paint: Northwest Florida leads it 26 to eight. Bench scoring: Raiders lead 25-10, and they kind of lead by that because they've done a pretty good job in shutting down a couple of the Lady Raiders offensively. And these are two of the top defensive teams in the nation. I believe the Lady Raiders are ranked 10th in defense nationwide. Northwest Florida is ranked third. So uh, you can look at this in two different ways. You can look at the scoring and go, hey, it's down and uh, blah, 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 blah. But sometimes there's really good defense involved in that. It's a nine-point ball game. Last night at this point, uh, when Casper was playing Northwest Florida at halftime, Casper led it 47-38. They had a ginormous crowd here of Casperians. And uh, you thought they were going to run away with it. Well, the second half was a complete different chapter. That's what we're looking for tonight. The three of Lady Raiders coming out of the locker room and uh, turning on the heat there in the second half. Uh, first quarter was a 19-9 Northwest Florida State advantage. The Lady Raiders outscored Northwest Florida 18-17 in the second quarter, giving us a score, 36-27. What's going to happen next? Come back and join us and find out. It is halftime for the national tournament. The winner goes to the final four. The loser uh, has to go home. Uh, again, it's been an outstanding tournament. Been some upsets in this tournament. Even the big one just a while ago was the number 20 seed. B- Colters, we know what's at stake. We put fun in everything we make at Colters. You love everything we make at Colton Steakhouse and we know what's at stake. Everyone has a smile and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. What's wrong, honey? Just found out my heart age is 62. (laughs) But you're only 55. I know. I took this test online, and it says my heart is 62. Is your heart older than you are? If so, you could be at risk for heart disease. Find out by taking Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center's Heart Risk Assessment. It's fast, free, and online. Visit poplarbluffheart.com today. I'm calling the doctor right now, and you should take that test too. 
You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. We won't be beat. Plaza Tire Service is the low price leader on tires. And if you do manage to find a lower price on a comparable tire, we'll match it with our low price pledge. Stretch your dollars with outstanding deals from Plaza Tire Service on tires for your car, van, truck, crossover, SUV, and more. Plaza Tire Service has a huge selection of tires in stock and ready to install today. Plus, get six months deferred interest on purchases of $149 or more with your Plaza Tire Service card. For the best deal on tires, see Plaza Tire Service. See Plaza Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Plaza Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Plaza Tire Service. Subway refreshed their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu. Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway Local. Locations in Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com or come see us. That's Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call 573-785-0893. We're back for the second half from the National Tournament in Casper, Wyoming. Lady Raiders down 36-27. I'd like to thank Dustin back in our home studios on the campus of Three Rivers College at the Broadcast Center for running the board tonight, being able to bring you these tournament games from the Rocky Mountains, the thin air of Casper, Wyoming. I think I'm finally, after seven days here, getting acclimated to the uh, – the uh, altitude, which is 5,150 feet, 5150 for you Van Halen fans above sea level. There's signs all over the place, 5150. I thought, what a cool town. What a cold town. They're calling for snow this weekend. Northwest Florida is going to throw. It's only snowed on us three times since we've been here. Northwest Florida gets the ball first. Both teams stayed in the locker room for a long time. Coach Walker, Coach Wiggs drawing it up. Second half is underway. Northwest Florida with the basketball. These first few minutes can kind of set a tone. Let's see if the Lady Raiders can hold defensively here right off the bat. They have the regular starting five in right now. Microwave, Lexi Weaver, Samari Taylor, Leah Jackson, and Kaylee Thompson. Ball went out of bounds, last touch by Northwest Florida. That little baseline shot went off the back side of the rim, weak side, off the fingertips of number 24, Davenport. So the Lady Raiders will get it back. Just getting it cranked up here from the second half. Lexi Weaver with the basketball to the microwave. Let's get the microwave turned on as well. Heat up quick. Get that ball in the basket. She's got it right now. Kicks it out to Leah Jackson. Here's KT, top of the key, rattles around, no good. Lexi Weaver 
fight for the rebound. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Northwest Florida. Good second effort there by Lexi Weaver crashing the offensive glass. We were talking here in the media row that the Northwest Florida does have a height advantage over Three Rivers. That hasn't happened much this season. Shot off the mark by Samari Taylor. Rebound on the inbound pass. Rebound by Northwest Florida. That ball goes out of bounds. Intended for number two, McFall. Lady Raiders will get it back. Lady Raider bench standing up, cheering the team on. Down by nine. It's one possession at a time for a while. Let's get back in this thing. Chip away at that lead. Lexi Weaver brings it across the timeline. Directs traffic. Bounce pass to Taylor. Back to Lexi. Waiting for KT to make the cut. Now she jumps out and grabs on the elbow. Back to Lexi. Top of the key. Weaver turns the corner. Dribbles in to the microwave. Natalia Jackson, she's at five, and she's going to get called for the double dribble. She took the cut at the top of the key going for the ball and trying to go north and south downhill toward the basket. She took the extra step. Traveling call, Northwest Florida will get it back. Scott with the basketball to McFall. Interesting, only one Floridian on this team. There's like a hodgepodge of different places. As number 32 lays it in, Celia Riviera. She's from Paris, France. Texas, France, California, Arkansas, Memphis, Philadelphia. Give the ball right back to him on the turnover. Lady Raiders not taking advantage offensively right now. Maya Davidson will check in. KT and uh, Samari Taylor both check out. Layla Reese now back in the ballgame as well. We'll set the lineup here for you. Jackson, Davidson, Reese, the microwave, and Lexi Weaver on the floor right now for three rivers. We're two minutes into the second half. Nobody has scored yet here in the second half. And there's going to be a foul away from the ball. Moving screen right there on number 32. Riviera picked off Lexi, but she was moving as she did it. She'll check out with three fouls. Three rows will bring it down. Lexi Weaver at point guard to Layla Reese. And Leah Jackson takes the extra step again. Same play. Called for traveling once again. So we'll give it back to Northwest Florida. I think if they've made a priority tonight to stay close defensively on Leah Jackson. There's a shot in the miss. Ball is stripped out of there. The microwave will pick it up. Good defense there by Maya Davidson to knock out that loose ball. Lexi Weaver with it. Microwave grabs the ball. Was pushed. No call. Bounce pass to Leah Jackson. Guarded by number five. She let, let it rip. Number five, Chase, all over her. She misses the shot. Northwest Florida will take it back the other direction. Three minutes into the second half, nobody has scored yet. Defense is playing at a uh, high level right now. 15 on the shot clock for Northwest Florida. They're going to set it up again. Chase has it, guarded by Leah Jackson. They're going to try to lob it in. They do to Davenport. She misses the easy shot underneath the basket. Davidson scoops up the rebound. We'll go back the other direction with it. It's Lexi Weaver to Maya Davidson. Now back to Lexi. Layla Reese to Lexi back at the top of the key. Here's the microwave for three. Misses. Reese gets the rebound. Kicks it out to Davidson. Shoots. Misses. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by three rivers. Lady Raiders had a couple of really good looks at it right then. Could not get the ball to go down. Weaver will come out, replaced by Camille Brown. Microwave will take a seat as well, replaced by Jasmine Davis. Davidson, Jackson, Davis, Reese, and number 21, Camille Brown on the floor right now for three rivers. 38-27. 
Northwest Florida cuts to the basket, and they add to the lead as number four, Nevea Scott, laid it in. They run that backdoor play. When it works, it works. She got the bucket, 38-27. Check that, 40-27. Jasmine Davis with it. That back jumper bounced around no good. Rebound by number 33, Destiny Smith. Outlet pass to number four, Scott, who just dribbles it down. She dribbled it and turned on the baseline. She'll draw the foul on number two, zero, Maya Davidson. Davidson had to slide over and help out on defense. Each team with one foul here in the second half. Non-shooting situation. They called the foul before shot. So Northwest Florida will inbound. They do. To McFall. Guarded by number 21, Camille Brown. Stop, pick up the dribble. Into number 33, Smith. She kicks it back out to number five, Chase. Five on the shot clock. They're going to let it fly at four. Three-pointers off the mark. Who's got the ball? Jasmine Davis picks up the loose ball for three rivers. Pushes it ahead. Here's Camille Brown for three. Misses off the back of the rim. A rebound by Northwest Florida. Whoa, right there is the charge. Camille Brown draws the charge on the other end. Is number four, Nevea Scott. Dribbled to the basket and slipped up the left arm. Hit her with the forearm, pushed her down. Correct call there on the charge. 4.58 left in the third quarter. 40-27 is the score. Colters, we know what's at stake. We put fun in everything we make at Colters. We know what's at stake. at stake. You love everything we make at Colton Steakhouse and Grill. No what's at stake. Everyone has a smile and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who will offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. Home Service Oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in Poplar Bluff. For many years, Home Service Oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area. Count on Home Service Oil for on-time deliveries to your location in Poplar Bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it. Home Service Oil also distributes race fuels, oils, and lubricants online at hsoil.com. Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's Back in Casper, Wyoming at the national tournament. 4.58 left here in the third quarter. Lady Raiders down 40-27. to 27. The winner will play Wabash Valley in the final four tomorrow night here at the Wyoming Ford Center. The men's tournament is also going on right now in Hutchison, Kansas. That tournament final will be Saturday. The finals of this tournament will be Monday. They will not play on Sunday due to Easter weekend, but they will finish up on Monday night. Three of those teams have already been selected. Hutchinson, Wabash Valley, in eastern Arizona, beat Gulf Coast State. In the final poll of the season, Gulf Coast was number three. Then it being a five seed in this tournament, it was knocked off by the Gila Monsters. Of eastern Arizona, the Monsters got them. Awesome nickname, the Monsters. So the Monsters will be in, in the final four, pulling the big upset. Right now, Three Rivers trying to pull the upset. They're done with the 11 team. 
taking on the number three team, Northwest Florida. Right now, Northwest leads it by 13. Raiders with the basketball right now. It is Jasmine Davis to Layla Reese. She turns, goes towards the basket. Ball squirts out of there. I don't know how they do not call a foul on that. Davis is on the floor. Reese took it to the basket, was hacked in the act, no call. Ball squirted out of there. Jasmine Davis finally tracked it down, dove on it. If a jump ball situation, we'll give it back to the Three Rivers Lady Raiders. Inbounds to Layla Reese. To Camille Brown, the top of the key. Now to Barmai Johnson. To Jasmine Davis. She'll shoot the jumper. It's good. Two-point shot, I believe. We'll take it. Jasmine Davis hits a two-pointer. Outside jump shot. Davis, 10 points to lead the Three Rivers Raiders right now. 40-29. Northwest Florida with it. Go baseline. Ball is knocked out of bounds. There's number 33. Destiny Smith went baseline. Jasmine Davis knocked that ball out of bounds. So they'll get it back. There's eight on the shot clock. 4.05 left here in the third quarter. Eight seconds on the shot clock. They'll take it out underneath their own basket. They lob it in to Deborah Davenport. Five on the shot clock. Four. Three. They're going to let a long shot go. It's off the mark. Raiders rebound. Jasmine Davis, one on two fast break. Takes it up. There's going to be a jump ball called. As she went up with it, the defender got her hand on it. They both went out of bounds with it. They called the jump ball. Jasmine Davis looking at her finger there. She might have jammed the finger in that process. Possession arrow points toward Northwest Florida. Swinging around to number 12, Pierfax. Going to have a foul called away from the ball. Smith caught with a moving screen away from the ball. Raiders catch a break there. Get the ball back down 40-29. This was a 36-27 game at halftime. Not a lot of scoring. This has been all defense here in the third quarter. Let's see if the Raiders can convert a bucket right here. Davis to Reese. She dribbles with the right hand. Gives it off to KT, who dribbles in. Has her shot blocked. Took it strong to the basket. Number 22, Odenamani, knocked it out of there. O-N-D-I-N-E-M-E, Odenami, with the block. We'll go the other way. Raiders commit the foul. Foul will be on number three, Jasmine Davis. That'll put number four, Nevaeh Scott, at the line to shoot a couple of free throws. Scott out of Memphis, Tennessee. Has six points in the ballgame for Northwest Florida. She makes the free throw. 41-29. She'll get set and shoot one more. She makes them both. 42-29. No complaints from the Raiders on the defensive side of the ball tonight. Playing pretty rugged. Both teams are playing rugged defense. It's just the Raider offense is not being able to get on par right now. Here is KT. Missed one right underneath the basket. That's what I'm talking about. Layla Reese dribbled in. The ball got away with her. Tipped it up to KT. KT makes that shot 99 out of 100 times. That time it doesn't go down for her. Been one of those kind of nights. Foul's going to be called right there on Camille Brown. She dove for the ball. Each team with three fouls here in the third quarter. Non-shooting situation so far here in the third quarter. So we'll inbound. Set it up again. Davenport with the ball. To number 22, Onami. Eight on the shot clock for Northwest Florida. Davenport has it at five. Foul away from the ball. And they call the foul on KT. Now, here's the deal. 
the ball is probably five or six feet north of the three-point line, the top of the key, and they're focused on action underneath the basket there. Head scratcher. Northwest gets it back. 15 on the shot clock now. Davenport's going to try the long-distance three. That one's off the mark. Camille Brown comes down with the rebound. Here's the outlet pass to Barmaya Johnson. Gives it back to Jasmine Davis. Three on four fast break. Kicks it out of there to Camille Brown, who dribbles in to the basket. Gets knocked on her derriere. They're going to call the foul. And number 21, check that, number 12, Maya Pierfax. Defense was open that time. Took it strong to the basket. They're going to say it was before the shot, though. So getting knocked on her keister was after the foul. So the Raiders will inbounds right in front of the uh, Raider cheer squad. You made the long trip from Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Inbounds pass is stolen by Northwest Florida State. We'll go back the other direction with it. Less than two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Swinging around to Davenport. They're going to lob it in the paint. Odami goes up and scores. Jade Odinme. For her, six points in the ball game. Here's Leah Jackson with it. She's back in the ball game. Camille Brown picks up her dribble, hands off to Jasmine Davis, who's set up again. Ten on the shot clock. Davis goes in, spin move, shots up, and it's good. Jasmine Davis went in, pivoted, did a little spin move, little fadeaway jumper, and it's good. She's had about the only offensive spark for the Raiders tonight with 12 points. 44, 31, 13 point lead for Northwest. Odinami down to number five. Chase shoots, misses. Davidson gets the rebound for three rivers. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Jasmine Davis dribbles, steps back, gives it to Jackson for three, misses. KT gets the rebound. Lady Raiders keep it alive. Leah Jackson to Maya Davidson. Over to Jasmine Davis. Ten on the shot clock. They'll back it out, slow it down, and do it again. Seven on the shot clock. Give and go to Davidson. Takes it up off the glass, and it's good. Nice, patient offensive series that time for Three Rivers. Got the offensive glass, took it out of there, slowed it down. Did the give and go. Still had a couple of seconds to work with. And got Davidson with the bucket. 44-33, 44-33, seven seconds left here in the third quarter. We're at five. Here's the block shot at two by Jackson at one. And that ball's off the rim, no good. Raiders dodged the bullet there on the buzzer. What's wrong, honey? Just found out my heart age is 62. <laughs> but you're only 55. I know. I took this test online, and it says my heart is 62. Is your heart older than you are? If so, you could be at risk for heart disease. Find out by taking Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center's Heart Risk Assessment. It's fast, free, and online. Visit poplarbluffheart.com today. I'm calling the doctor right now, and you should take that test too. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. Subway refreshed their ingredients, then their menu, and now they're slicing their meats fresh. That means fresh sliced turkey, fresh sliced ham, and two new Deli Hero subs. Try the Titan Turkey and Grand Slam Ham, each piled high with double the cheese and more meat. Order your new Deli Hero sub with fresh sliced deli meats today. And be sure to try all the subs on the refreshed Subway Series menu. Subway's tastiest menu upgrade yet. Stop by Subway 
locations in Poplar Bluff, Donovan, and Piedmont today. We're ready for the fourth quarter of basketball action from Casper, Wyoming. We're at the Ford Wyoming Center. One more quarter to go. The winner of this game goes to the final four to take on the Wabash Valley. The loser will have to go home. We mentioned the uh, tournament going on in Hutchinson, Kansas right now. The Region 16 representative, Moberly, lost last Monday, 86-77 to Connor State out in Hutchinson, Kansas. And I really have, with March Madness, <laughs> opening day of baseball season, we're here at this tournament. We've been out here a lot. I've kind of not kept up with the men to know exactly once uh, Moberly got beat. So we'll have to take a look at that. Their finals will be tomorrow night. And then the finals of this tournament will be Monday night after Easter. 44-33 is the score. Lady Raiders will get the basketball first. The third quarter, Northwest Florida outscored three rivers 8-6. Eight 8-6. to, six. Eight to six. This is a 36-27 game right now. We're at 44-33. Again, you've got to give the defense credit. They've been playing uh, inspired brand of defense tonight, both teams. We're waiting on our good friends from ESPN+. Plus. Their spots are over. Their commercials are done, and here we go. Inbounds to Lexi Weaver. Number 11, Weaver dribbles. Hands off to Leah Jackson. Here's Lexi. She rolls baseline with it. Davidson, top of the key. Back to the microwave. Here's Leah Jackson. Who dribbles in. She'll draw the foul. Davidson, Jackson, Weaver, Thompson, and Amaya Johnson, number five, on the floor right now. That was before the shot, so we're going to take it out right in front of the three rivers. Cheer squad. Bounce pass intended for KT goes out of bounds off the hand of a Northwest player. So we'll do it again. When you sit right on top of the floor here, you get screened out occasionally by the third ref. I got screened out that time. I did not see who the ball went off of out of bounds. Lady Raiders will inbounds it. Here's the microwave for three. Misses. And the rebound comes down to Northwest. Pierfax with it. Raiders had a good look at it. Couldn't get it to go. There's a blocking call right there. Lexi Weaver went for the charge. They called a block instead. They've been calling that a charge for this whole tournament. That time, Lady Raiders don't, do not get the call. Weaver looked to have position. They called the block. And that's going to put number 24 at the line. Deborah Davenport. Makes the shot, 47-33. They counted the bucket, called it the and one, so she gets a three-point play the old-fashioned way, 47-33. Here's Lexi with the basketball, dribbles in, kicks it out to the microwave. Now to Jackson. Guarded closely by number zero, Davis. Stops, shoots, and scores. Leah Jackson's first bucket of the ball game. Comes at the 8.52 mark, 47.35. Let's get her going offensively here in the fourth quarter. Lady Raiders going to put that basket, ball in the basket. Northwest just put the ball in the basket. It's number 32, Riviera. Posted up. They lobbed it into her. She turned and scored, and she'll draw the foul. Foul is called on. Leah Jackson, number 12. Jackson with three fouls here in the ballgame. Riviera will go for the three-point play. The and one is good. 50-35, 15-point lead. Biggest lead of the game has been 18 points. We're back up to a 15-point lead for Northwest Florida. They go low to KT, who lays it up and lays it in. Give the assist to Leela Jackson. Give the points to KT. 50-37. 
Four points for the ball game for KT. That's the kind of play, kind of execution we're looking on offensively. Northwest Florida with the basketball right now. They are in no hurry. All of a sudden, they're going to try to grind some time down. We know the eight-minute mark left here in the ball game. The shot clock's at three. Shot clock's at two. Shot high off the glass, and it's good. That's a back breaker right there. Pierfax shot it with about 29.9 of the shot clock expired, and she laid one high off the glass. It comes right down the middle of it. Give her the points. Make it 52-37. Ouch. That hurt. Here's KT with it. Dribbles in. Shot is blocked right there by number 24, Davenport, 6'2", freshman. She has the basketball right now. There's a seal by the microwave. She'll slow it down. Now takes it strong to the basket. Lays it up and lays it in. Did a nice stutter step move there. Probably learned that at Hayes High High School when she was a lady Indian. Stole the ball, stutter stepped, and then took it strong to the basket. First points in the ball game for the microwave. Seven minutes left in this one. 52-39. Raiders trying to get something going offensively. They need a stop here defensively. And they're going to get it as Riviera throws it out of bounds. Riviera zigged when the, her players zagged. The ball goes out of bounds. Raiders catch a break. But there's only 6.51 left in the ball game. Reese is back in with Jasmine Davis. Kara Neal is in. Coach Livingston says you got to go fast. Got to move it. We got to get back in this thing. Lexi Weaver with it to Jackson. Now to Neal. Neal turns, goes towards the basket, goes up with it, kicks it out to Reese. Reese hits the three. Layla Reese with the three-point bucket cuts it to a 52-39. Check that, 52-42. I'm three points behind. Ten-point ball game now. Reese with six points in the ball game. She's hit a couple of threes. She's guarding the much taller number 22, Odemi. They have to kick it out to number two, McFall. She shoots and hits a three-pointer. That hurts, too. Nice defensive effort. She had no other option, but hoist up the three. Sadly, hit the bottom of the bucket. Here's Neal, takes it strong to the basket, and she'll draw the foul. Called on Odenemy. Player from Paris, France. She'll check out. Riviera checks in. Odenemy and Riviera, both from the Paris, France area. Not Paris, Tennessee, Paris, France. Kier Neal at the line to shoot a couple of free throws. Neal's from Marion, Illinois, or excuse me, Marion, Arkansas. Makes the first free throw of number 15 with the bucket. She has six points in the ball game. She's had a nice game off the bench tonight, 4-3 Rivers. Here comes the second free throw. In and out, no good. It rolled around, did not go down. So the score is 55-43, 5.52 left in this one. Northwest Florida with a basketball. They swing it around, top of the key now. They're trying to lob it into Riviera. She quickly throws it out of there. They're going to call the foul. Scott, number four, got it as she drove in. Foul called on number three, Jasmine Davis. Northwest Florida will inbounds. They're out of Niceville, Florida. I believe that's near Destin, Florida. Used to be called Oskaloosa Walton Junior College back in the day. Raiders get it on the turnover. Here we come the other direction with it. Davis with the steal. Hands it off to Neal. Now to Jackson. Leah Jackson thought about the three-pointer. Passes it up, goes to the basket strong. Her shot is blocked, but Davis picks up the loose ball, gives it back to Neal. Neal goes in, and she'll draw the foul. So they're taking it to the basket right now. That's why Neal's in the ball game. Kier is a six-foot freshman. Post player for Three Rivers, taking it strong to the basket. KT's going to check in. Kaylee Thompson, four. Layla Reese, 
Maya Davison will check in for Neal after the free throws. 5-14 to go in this one. 55-43. Lady Raiders down by 12. That free throw is up, and it is good for Neal. Seven points for her in the ballgame. She'll get one more free throw. Second free throw is up, and it is good. Davidson will check in for Neal. Neal give him a nice lift off the bench right there. Jackson, Davidson, Davis, Lexi Weaver, KT, Kaylee Thompson in the ballgame right now for Three Rivers. They switch it up, go to full court pressure, man-to-man full court. Now they're going to do a little trapping. They get it to Riviera. She crosses the timeline with it. Now to Scott, number four, to McFall, number two. She dribbles in behind the back, dribbled in, went behind the back, laid it up with the left hand. Nifty play there by her. 57-45. Northwest Florida calls the timeout. We'll listen in to see if it's going to be a full or a 30. See Placid Tire Service for the right tire at the right price right now. Placid Tire Service is the area's biggest selection of in-stock tires at the lowest price. While others are searching for tires to order, we'll get you fixed up with a great set of tires and back on the road in no time with our four tires, one hour guarantee. Plus, we make the purchase easy on your budget with our Placid Tire Service card or no credit needed financing options. For the right tire at the right price right now, the choice is easy. That's Placid Tire Service. We put fun in everything we make at Colton's. We know what's at stake. Colton's, we know what's at stake. You love everything we make at Colton's. Steakhouse and grill. Everyone has a smile, and everyone has a story. The Bly family story is all about helping the community have a good, healthy smile. For three generations, the Blys have been practicing dentistry. They are always welcoming new patients. Just call 573-785-0111. When you come to the Dental Arts Group, you'll find the most advanced dental technology and techniques available. But more than that, you'll find a group of dentists who offer a relaxed atmosphere with a private, personal touch. Dental Arts Group, 2700 Canal Boulevard, PP Highway in Poplar Bluff. She was a cheer coach last year because our coach was out pregnant, but uh, so she tags along. She was a high school business teacher, taught yearbook, and shoots a lot of pictures. We put everything on every night. Yes. Back at the national tournament, NJCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship. We're at the Ford Wyoming Center in Casper, Wyoming. 455 left in this ball game. Lady Raiders down 5745 coming out of the long timeout. When you're used to one minute timeouts and 30 second timeouts, and your friends from ESPN Plus are here, and they like two minute or two and a half minute timeouts, but this seems to drag. We like a little crisper pace of action, but that's all right. I'm glad ESPN Plus is covering them. Good for them taking an interest in junior college sports and promoting it's a good game, good product. Glad to see ESPN behind it a little bit. Here's KT, takes it up and in. Nifty play there by number 33. Pretty strong to the basket. 57-47, 10-point game. Northwest Florida with it. Lady Raiders, the man-to-man defense. Now they drop back to a 2-3 zone. Mixing it up a little bit on defense, giving them a different look. 
10 on the shot clock for Northwest Florida. They're trying to get into Riviera. She's covered up. There's another block called right there. Crowd did not like that call. The remaining folks in the crowd, that looked like a charge. That would have been a charge in the first half. Call the block right there. Coach Wiggs talking to the official right there. Still talking. Still talking. The Raider fans here tonight voicing their opinions. I wish we had a group of the super fans from Papa Bluff here tonight that kind of voice their home service oil is proud to announce the addition of a brand new tank wagon route in poplar bluff for many years home service oil has specialized in bulk fuel delivery and can now reach farms and businesses in the area count on home service oil for on-time deliveries to your location in poplar bluff and surrounding areas anytime you need it home service oil also distributes race fuels oils and lubricants online at hsoil.com Home Service Oil. Service is our middle name. Call today, 573-776-1412. That's 573-776-1412. You love your truck, and Plaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. We've got wheels, leveling kits, and of course, the area's largest selection of light truck tires. With ATs and mud tires up to 35s and bigger, Plaza Tire Service has you covered. The pros at Plaza Tire Service can help you select a great combination that will work with your truck. Plus, with our Plaza Tire Service card or no credit needed financing, your upgrades can be easy on your budget. So take your truck from stock to spectacular with Plaza Tire Service. Hey, Steve Dennis, Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac out of Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Hey, 23 has come and gone, and 24 is going to be an exciting year. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, hey, you owe it to yourself to give us an opportunity. We've got a great selection of new Chevrolets, new Cadillacs, a great selection of pre-owned. So see them all at BaldwinChevy.com or come see us. That's Baldwin Chevrolet Cadillac in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, or give us a call, 573-785-0893. Okay, yeah, that explains a lot then. Explains why I have chapped lips and my voice is fading. <clears throat> We're at the Ford Wyoming Center where the crowd's enjoying the all-time favorite song, Cotton Eye Joe. I say that sarcastically. Is there a worse song other than Achy Breaky Heart and We Built This City? Is Cotton Eye Joe the worst song of the 80s or 90s whenever it came out? That's for you to decide. Some thoughts for you there. Most annoying song from your childhood. And it keeps playing. Hopefully you're not picking this up on my microphone. Thank goodness the song faded away. Back to the ball game. Two free throws on the horrific call by the official. It's that one's up and it's off the mark by number two, McFall. McFall in the ballgame, 13 points on the season. She averages 13.3. She makes that one. Give her 14 points. 57, 58, 47. Northwest Florida leads it. Here's Reese in the paint. Gets her shot blocked. Takes it out of there. She's opening it on the wing. Now to Jackson. Pass intended for Jasmine Davis goes out of bounds. Four minutes on the dot left in this one. Lady Raiders down by 11. Each possession is going to count in a big way right now for them to be able to chip away at this lead. They got it down to nine. The lead was at 18 at one point. Just have not been able to get in the flow offensively. You've got to give credit to Northwest Florida defensively. They've made it a point to stop Jackson tonight. She just has two points in this one. She's been like a double team most of the night. There's the lob into number 32, Riviera, who lays it up and lays it in. Nine points for her. 60-47, Northwest Florida leads it. Cross-court pass to Jackson. She'll shoot to three. Misses. Ball is uh, rebounded by McFall. She grabbed the air ball on the weak side, brings it down. 
3-12 left in this one. They lob it into Davenport, who shoots and scores and draws the foul. That play worked two times in a row. The lob over the top, one time to Riviera, one time to Davenport. Riviera is six foot three. Davenport, they've had listed at 6'2". Just inches over the defender. They've got it right underneath the basket. They turned and scored. This time they uh, draw the foul as well. Davenport, 13 points in the ballgame. She averages about nine a game usually for Northwest Florida. She makes that bucket, 63-47. As we near the three-minute mark in this one, Lady Raiders are going to have to score and score quickly. Here's Davis giving it a shot. She scores. Three-point bucket for Jasmine Davis. Davis is having the play of the game tonight, player of the game for three rivers. Off the bench with 15 points for Jasmine Davis on the season. She averages about eight. She's been about the only one to be able to have the uh, hot hand offensively. So they do call the timeout. This looks like a 30-second timeout, so we're going to keep it right here. Might be able to hear the uh, Raider cheer squad in the background. We do appreciate them making the long journey to Casper, Wyoming. They've added a lot to the atmosphere of the uh, Ford Wyoming Center. This place known for the National Rodeo for Junior College uh, Athletics. Big venue. Uh, Toto and Journey will be here in concert pretty soon. They have a big, uh, this built in, it's built like in the early 80s. They got a big uh, display out front of all the acts that's been here year to year to year. They've hosted a lot of uh, great classic rock acts. ZZ Top plays here a lot, I noticed uh, from reading it over. A lot of people that, uh, I used to play on the radio years ago, back in my radio days in the uh, mid-80s, back when I could understand the words to the song. Northwest Florida with the ball coming out of the 30-second timeout. I call it classic rock. My kids call it oldies. There is the interception by Kiera Neal, pass intended for Riviera. Neal pushes ahead to Jackson for three, in and out, no good. A rebound there by number two, McFall. Guarded by number 21, Camille Brown. Northwest has it. The clock is their ally at the moment. They lead it by 13. We're getting close to the two-minute mark. Ten on the shot clock. They dribble baseline up and in. McFall with the bucket, 65-50. Under two minutes left, Davis will give it a heave, misses that one. And I believe Leah Jackson then maybe has just fouled out of the ball game. Number 12, Pierfax got the ball. Jackson went for the steal, and I believe that's going to be 5,000. Leah Jackson, she will check out of the ball game with two points tonight. She will be replaced by Lexi Weaver. Hello, Lexi Going to the line will be number 12, Maya Pierfax, out of Lake Elsinore, California. Makes the first free throw, 66-50. Number 22 for Maya Johnson will check in the ballgame for three rivers. That second free throw is off the mark. Jasmine Davis gets the rebound, pushes it ahead. Takes it strong in the basket. And say she stepped out of bounds. Could have been a foul. Stepped out of bounds. Give it back to Northwest Florida State. Stay in bounds. Lady Raiders go to 2 2 1 full court pressure. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Three Rivers. Riviera to inbounds. KT's going to guard her. They lob it in right here in front of us to number four, Nevaeh Scott. She crosses the timeline with it. 135 left in this one. This is their content just to eat some clock right now, grind it down. 126 to go. 12 on the shot clock. Back out to number two, McFall. Guarded by Bramaya Johnson. 
Riviera lets the three-pointer go. She misses. Davis rebounds at the 111 mark. Quickly ahead. Here's Neal with it. Spin move to the basket. Scoops it up with the left hand. It's good. Nice play there by Neal. She went into the defender, had enough to flip it up with her right hand. And it's up and it's in. So one minute left in this one, 66-52. It looks like another 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Appreciate the input. My comment about we built this city being a um, cringeworthy song. I'm getting some uh, positive feedback on that. I knew it wasn't just me. Achy Break Your Heart has to be number one, though. Cotton Eye Joe, too. We built this city number three. In my humble opinion, it's just my humble opinion. Playing a Neil Diamond song right now. Nothing like playing Sweet Caroline when there's 18 people left in the gym. Neil Diamond's still making money off that song. It's unbelievable. It's 50 plus years. Paycheck keeps rolling in. That's another discussion for another time. Under a minute to go in this one. Northwest Florida with the basketball. They have a big lead, 66 52. Three was forced to foul right there to stop the clock. KT steps up and fouls number 12, Maya Pierfax. As we mentioned earlier, three of the four final four teams are set. Number one, Hutchinson. Number two, Wabash Valley. Number 20, Eastern Arizona. And then the winner of this game will make the final four. The final four will play tomorrow night, the championship game Monday night here in Casper, Wyoming. Of what could be a snow day, Sunday and uh, Monday. Second free throw is no good. Johnson rebounds, hands off to Davis. She goes baseline to KT. Here's a shot from the corner. Rattles around, no good. Davis got the rebound, had to save it. And it goes to number two, McFall. Raiders forced to foul one more time to stop the clock. Substitutions now for Northwest. Number two, Destin McFall will go to the line. She's out of Philadelphia. She makes the first free throw. 17 points for her. 68-52. She will shoot one more. Second one's up. And it's good. Number five, Micaiah Chase. And number 20, Allison Ferguson check in the ball game for Northwest Florida. Kiara Neal, Camille Brown, Jasmine Davis, Kaylee Thompson, and Bramiah Johnson on the floor. Johnson lets it fly, misses. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by three rivers. 30.2 seconds left in this ball game. There'll be two tenths of a second differential. There's the steal. And the stick back by KT, 69-54 for KT, eight points in the ballgame. Carly Thompson, well, she's had a nice season this year for three of us. They have the basketball right now in Northwest Florida, 69-54. Coach Wiggs tells them just to let it go. They will dribble it out, I think. This is going to finish the ball season, ball game, and the season for the three of us, Lady Raiders. Northwest Florida will get the win tonight, 69-54. They will make it to the final four. So after a series of upsets, the number one, number two, and number three teams all make the final four, along with the number 20 team, which is kind of odd. 69-54 is our final score. Lady Raiders, with the loss, runs their record to 29-5 and on the season, and they make the Elite Eight of the national tournament. What an outstanding season for Coach Wiggs and Coach Livingston, and the Three Rivers Lady Raiders. Once again, 29-5 and record on the season, and they make the Elite Eight here at the National Tournament. Congratulations to them on a great season. Before we throw it back to our broadcast studios, we want to thank all of our broadcast sponsors this year. Home Service Oil, Subway, the Dental Arts Group, Baldwin Auto, Popper Bluff Regional Medical Center, Colton's and Plaza Tire, 
we thank you very much for being able to sponsor us all season long for the Raiders and Lady Raiders. For me, it's been year number six, and it has been a hoot. It is fun job, best part-time job in America. Thank you for the uh, Three Rivers Booster Club for uh, their support. Uh, the school administration, thanks for their support. And, again, it's been a blast bringing it to you. We had a big year this year making the transition from a traditional terrestrial radio to doing the uh, broadcast on YouTube. And uh, we do appreciate uh, everyone's patience that we've made that transition. A big part of the success of that transition has been Dustin Midyet, the tech guy who has helped me all season long and kept this thing up and kept it rolling. Dustin, thank you so much. He's back at Popper Bluff at Command Central right now, our broadcasting studio running the board, and he has been a uh, big help and a great ambassador for Three Rivers all season long. So once again, we'll finish up from here. We'll make the long trek back to Missouri. We'll go downhill, get out of this high altitude for a while, and we'll head back towards Three Rivers College. So uh, once again, congratulations to the Lady Raiders on an outstanding season, 29-5 and five and an Elite 18. Again, my name's Tim Hager. Thank you for joining us, not just tonight, but all season long. We have tracked this on YouTube and how many viewers we've had. And uh, it's kind of caught on in a lot of circles and a lot of positive feedback, people watching it on their iPads, uh, iPhones, however you consume the product. We appreciate you uh, hanging out with us and enjoying the Raiders. 